Hey, what up, y'all? This your boy, Mighty Mac. And this your girl, Cadillac. And together we're the... Cousins in Crime. And today we're coming at y'all with another video, another review of the Encore. This is episode... We're going to do five it's and five six, six. y'all, because we missed it last Ain't week. Ain't no seven yet, is it? Uh-uh. So let's go and get into this review. But yeah, so catching you guys up. Um, so the Encore pretty much is a show on BET. It's called BET Presents the Encore. Um, those for you who haven't seen it, the show is about female groups from the 90s and the 2000s. Um, they come together, try to make this one super group. So, so far, they got Nivea Keeley. Nivea, um, you know, the don't mess with mom and her. They got Keeley from 3OW. Um, Shamari from Black. Um, if y'all, I know Black probably wasn't a big known group. That was the one. 1999, that song. they was. That um, like no, I know. Right, right, yeah, they got that that That's song, and like they got they put most popular song was that. Um, oh baby, bring oh, yeah, it right. on to me. So that's Black and Shamari, and then they have um, Aubrey from Danity Kane. Still didn't know why she here, but she's there. We are gonna touch on her in a second. And then they have the tr the twin. I would say the trends. The the twins from Cherish, and then Pam from Step. I mean, not Pam from Damn. What Pam from? She from Total, y'all. Total. <laughs> <Don't say> <laughs> yeah. It was. And then you got Lamisha Irish from Seven Hundred Two. Okay, so that's everybody that's up in that house. And then you got Cosign and Elijah. And the reason I'm I'm re I'm introducing Cosign and Elijah because they're gonna play a part in episode five and six. But yeah, so. Um, I don't remember how episode five came on just because it happened so long. It it was like two weeks ago, but I'm going to just give you guys, like I said, I always give you guys the highlights of what I remember because those are the most important parts. Anyway, so episode five has, um, it's time to vote a new queen in y'all. Cause they said Aubrey got up in there and she didn't do fucking nothing. She, she, she became a lazy queen. She set her ass up in that room and she went missing a couple days. It was just a mess. So... They vote for a new queen, and it's down to Fallon and Misha and Aubrey. They got a three-way or whatever it was. Yep, that's a three-way because it's nine girls, and it was three votes for each. Okay, so the the formal queen has to decide who is going to be the new queen. So because Fallon and, and Aubrey was back and forth, you know, they wasn't getting along. Of course, Aubrey chose Misha. She chose Misha as the queen. So they felt Lamisha wasn't gonna get shit done and any anything like that. But you hear Cita come in after the queen is chosen. You hear Cita say, "Hey, we finna have a listening party." So the listening party is the music that's unfucking finished that nobody has finished. They still got not one complete song. So I don't understand how they had a listening party, but they did. Okay. So Cita tells them they got a listening party going on and they need to um, practice, you know, a performance or whatever for a listening party. And they're going to bring in some of the old group members from, you know, oh. past um, groups or whatever. To just listen or participate? Listen. Oh. Just to listen. So you see, um, if y'all remember in episode four, Aubrey tells Cosign, I mean, Elijah, that, you know, the twins say he's really not doing shit and their music is better. They the one that got BD, BDE. Is that what they, what no, that means? What that oh, don't say that so, out loud. On. <laughs> oh, well, no, but that well, was using it in a phrase, like not a nasty phrase, but what they were like, phrase with that he was movie? saying like, okay, I'm a man, like a female is trying to check me, like. You know, I run shit. Like, uh -huh. only one who got big energy around here is me, because I'm the man. But the twins, it was one of them chicks, filing off Felicia. They was like, I got BDE too. Like, you don't run shit. It was, it was just a lot of back and forth because they. Between the producers and the twins? Yeah, because they friends. Oh, so now they going at it. Yeah, they're friends. So, but baby, they, the twins have literally gotten into it with everybody on the show. Everybody on the show. So. Um, Elijah was like, you know, he didn't say X, Y, Z. It was edited wrong, blah, blah, blah. So they go confront Aubrey and Aubrey tells them that's not the way. He the one came at me and, and was telling me that you think you run everything. And then they cut to a clip in the previous episode and he actually was the one that went back and told Aubrey. But Aubrey did fall for it and went to, um, you know, saying shit about the twins too. So they both were kind of wrong in that sense. But he tried to check Arby. So when he told them, when he told the twin that, 
the twins was like, well, Elijah want to talk to you and this and that. So they all, Aubrey agrees to go downstairs and they're, he's just calling her all manipulative. I don't think he called her a bitch or nothing, but he called, oh, she was very manipulative and divisive and blah, blah, blah. Just pretty much bringing her down. Like, like she doesn't contribute anything to the group X, Y, Z. It was just a, a mess. Like I felt as a man, he should have been checking her like that just because for the simple fact is that, you know, all of this is mis misconfusion. He said what he said, but of course, in order for him not to get into it with the twins because they're friends, he had to keep that persona that it was just Aubrey being a bitch, but it really wasn't, it was kind of him. So, Aubrey was like, fuck that, I'm out of here. Like, she walked the fuck off. Aubrey was like, y'all ain't finna just jump on me. You know, that's not fair to me. So, Aubrey got her shit and left. Like, she left for a few days or whatever. Um, so, in the meantime, while Aubrey's gone, you know, it's Shamari's... Um, anniversary or whatever it's a 15th anniversary with the legendary ronnie devoe because she don't let you forget legendary because she said every time she introduced him it's the legendary mm. ronald devoe <laughs> she says his name just like that every time so she don't let you forget so you know he's pretty much giving her encouragement like you know you're doing something good i'm glad that you're there blah 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 xyz they're nervous like i said because they have to get this listening party together so, um, pretty much when Aubrey leaves, Fallon makes a, a comment that she should have been queen because shit would have got done. So Misha was like, once again, Misha takes it very serious because it's been so much friction between them that, you know, whatever they say is going to be on 10. So she was like, you just shitting on me pretty much. Like, you know, whatever you got going on with them, but don't say that because it's like, you're saying I'm queen. I'm not going to get anything done. And that's pretty much what that bitch was saying. Like, yeah, bitch, y'all should have voted me queen. So, at the end of all of that, um, they finally get the songs together um, about what songs they're going to do. So, Aubrey, once again, she's missing. So, the twins was like, well, you know, I'm not, she's just being fucking dramatic. You know, uh, she never had a man to jump on her like that before. It was something that she said. I just don't remember the exact verbiage that she used, but what it you was mean a man to jump. On <laughs> a man ain't, ain't never went <laughs> off on her like that before. Uh, attack? No, she said a man haven't attacked her like that in a long time. Is I think that's what she said, but I don't know. I can't remember what she so said. So was they they trying to uh, gear that to her uh, Diddy? Oh no, might be. But she didn't work with a few dudes after that, so I don't know. So she Aubrey was like, you know, she, they was all going back and forth. So when Aubrey finally comes back, um, they're discussing the showcase at this point. Aubrey pops back up. So Aubrey is pretty much just saying like, I guess they got a song called Leave Don't Go, which is that song, um, how that one go is, um, something about we can party on my diamonds on me or whatever or whatever it goes it goes something like that <laughs> they got that one and then they got that god song oh i shouldn't have said it like that y'all they got the god song god. that pam done wrote song. the gospel song <laughs> yeah that um i don't know i can't remember the words of that one either but pam song pam wrote that one and then they got the um well you song. sung it in the last video i did y'all like go check that out <laughs> Pam is sitting down and Pam is writing her little, you know, her little Christian song, you know, whatever. And it sounds similar to something that's already been rolled. It was like, <laughs> um, God, God of heaven, creator of something, something like that. But it that, sounds that, very similar to that, something that's, that's already out. I saw that you, you probably got it mixed up. No, and that's exactly that's what song. she said. Oh, okay. It was God of heaven, creator of of the earth and something like that that's exactly what she said I'll, I'll let you see it later but i'm not gonna watch it right now <laughs> but they got skeletons and that's that song skeletons um something about come lay on my pillow i got room for your skeletons in your closet it's supposed to be a love song i don't know but it sounds country as shit <laughs> but um and then they have that song talking the one that i told y'all that pam say i can't call nobody no hoe no female no hoes up in here so you know but pam got on that song y'all she may not have said ho i don't know if she sung <laughs> that part but she on that song 
So they got those four songs. They, even though they're not complete, they got they, at least they got that. So and then oh, they got Bird's Eye View as well. Um, so they got Bird's Eye View. So maybe that's the five songs. Yes, that's the five songs. So all Aubrey was pretty much Aubrey and Keely in the kitchen talking, and Aubrey tells Keely that they should open up with um, talking. So what Keely doing there if she ain't on none of the songs? She's on the song. She's singing. No. Oh. She, I guess that creative director shit wasn't working. So that bitch up in there singing and dancing just like everybody else working. <laughs> But and she's producing too, so she's in the studio with them, like you know, mix and master and stuff like that. But when she start doing that, I don't know. I guess because her, mm -hmm. her mama. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Yo, side note: Did y'all know, um, Joe? Remember the Joe? I want the one that denied yeah, my shirt. Yeah, the yeah. Only he one pushed to, Keely down the stairs. The only one to deny one of my hand painted shirts. Yeah, That's Joe. a whole nother story. He pushed I Keely down the stairs. Did you know that? Uh-uh, when? On the show? Uh-uh. This She said, you know, her mother and him was together back in the day, and he pushed her down the stairs. He was abusing her mom. And her no. Mom. But that's another video, y'all. He, he denied my shirt, so I am. Huh. But you can't you can't just say he a woman abusing no, her. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't say, damn. <laughs> like, I didn't say none of that. Well, Keely came out and said it, that he threw her down them steps. <laughs> but y'all, so they go, they go. All Aubrey is saying is that we need to open the show with a banger. We don't want to open it with a slow song because you want the people to get into it. So that's all she's saying. So Felicia or Fallon, one of them, went back upstairs and told... No, it was Fallon. She ran back upstairs and told Felicia that Aubrey down there talking shit like, oh, y'all ain't got no bangers. None of these songs are bangers. And she did not say that. All she said was they need to open up with a banger. We need a banger to open this show. So Felicia runs her ass downstairs and try to confront Arby. It was like, oh, are you talking shit about the song? Saying that we ain't got no bangers and blah, blah, blah. Arby was like, I didn't say that. And then for Fallon was like, I didn't say she said that. Yes, you did. You just ran up them stairs and said exactly <laughs> what she came down there and said. So the twins, once again, they in their feelings. They was like, well, fuck it. Y'all do everything. So, and Misha, here we go. Misha was like, well, I don't know how she got involved. But Misha was like, she was pissed off. Because she was like, oh, freaking Fred and Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> she called them Phineas and Ferb. And she was like, Phineas and Ferb. Um, you know, they singing everything. They want us to do it that way. So Felicia was like, well, fuck it, Misha. You can sing everything. You can have all my parts. You can sing everything. So Misha is not really coming to the grips that she's the weakest sing, one of the weakest singers in the house. Her and her sister are the weakest in the house. Like, Cherish, they not the strongest, but they can sing. So put your strong singers forward. You don't want the weak singers to open up and people be like, what the fuck is this? Like, you know, she's not really getting that. So she's pissed off because she was like, well, I sing it all. Girl, you can't. I ain't gonna be funny, but you can't. You have a little voice, but you, ain't, you can't sing all them songs like that. So, after they get done with all the arguing, they but still... But whatever happened to mixing it? Because, I mean, you don't have to be the best singer. The, the producers can come back and mix that stuff. We're going we gonna to get to that. <laughs> That's episode six. Oh. So, um, after they get into it in the kitchen... Apparently, Pam Pam gets the fuck up and Pam say, uh-uh, baby, this ain't it for me. You know, all these females yelling and they arguing and, you know, I don't got time for it. So Pam leaves. So Misha was like, I'm tired of you leaving. <laughs> like, Misha was like, every time we get into some shit, you get the fuck up and leave. That's what you're you supposed to do. You no, she was like, you don't never have money. our backs. You don't never speak your mind, blah, blah, blah. You don't say nothing. You just get up and leave. So Misha and Pam got <laughs> into it. Well, I don't know if they got into it, but they was mad at each other for that particular reason. And then we roll into, it comes, it goes off at that point because they just, they, it was just everybody arguing back and forth. So episode six comes. And episode six, this is the last week, the, the recent one. So now we're at the listening party. You know, I'm going to just skip to it. So Aubrey was talking to um, Pam, I think. Yeah, she was talking to Pam and she was like, I don't think anybody from Danity Kane, you know, is going to show up because me and those girls, we're not getting along. You know, we've had our differences and things like that. So she said, I don't think nobody's going to show up for me, which is fine. And then total, I mean, Pam was like, well, I don't think nobody's going to show up for me either. And Aubrey was like, oh, if they do show up, I'll be so jealous and blah, blah, blah. And this and that. <laughs> so 
we come to the listening party. Misha is still queen at this point. Um, so we get to the listening party because like I said, I'm going to tell y'all what I do remember and you know what we goes on, what, what goes on. So we get to the listening party now. Who from else Shamari. left at 702? Is, is only, it's only Diva. Um, is, did she come? I'm going to get to it. Oh, okay. So from Shamari's side, her husband shows up, Ronnie DeVoe. He comes in with these fucking flowers and he got a million and five flowers for her because <laughs> maybe it was their anniversary. So he, they, she was there doing her anniversary. So maybe when he seen it, he brought the flowers or whatever. So Ronnie DeVoe shows up and Brandy um, from Black shows up. And then from Nivea's side. Um, oh, yeah. She didn't have a group. I don't think somebody showed up for Nivea. I think Jazzy Faye showed up for her. She got no group. I don't know. I think a producer man showed up for her. I don't remember who the fuck showed up for Nivea. But Aubrey, nobody showed up. And um, for Pam, Kima from 702 showed up. Oh, and then um, from 702, Mila did show up. Mila shows up. And then for Cherish, Jazzy Faye showed up. But how so, he going to show up for both of them? So he was there for... Um, Cherish. You just said, no, but you just said he was also there for Nivea. Yeah, because they all knew each other. So he so gave he a support vote. Tech... No, but... The other group members from Cherish didn't show up. So the Fallon says she knew they wasn't going to show up because they had prior engagements to, you know, their husband and family and stuff like that. So they weren't going to show up. So, okay. So soon as it comes, soon as the, the listening party starts, they start with um, skeletons in your closet or in my closet, whatever it's called. They start with that. And it's like three seconds into the performance. Ronald DeVoe, legendary, <laughs> Ron DeVoe stops the performance. And he says, uh-uh, stop the show. So they were like, you know, what the fuck? Like, why are you stopping the show? We're, we're just getting into it. Like, you know, blah, blah, blah. So he was like, no, y'all got to bring that shit. Like, ain't nobody seen y'all in a long time. You know, pretty much, them, they got to feel it or whatever. Oh, this is so, a listening party, not yeah. a performance. Yeah. But still, you don't do that at no listening right. party. Right. Because that's not like right. no rehearsal right. or nothing. Oh, let me rewind y'all. So before the listening party, Cosign takes the music. That's why I brought Elijah and Cosign up. Because now Cosign is the producer of the Leave Don't Go song or Don't Go and Leave or whatever it's called. He takes the fucking song. So they have no songs to rehearse in the, the literally the show takes starts. It where? <clears throat> he mad? No, he takes it at home or whatever. Why? Before. <laughs> So he takes the song. So they have no song to rehearse and work on because the song is gone. So Felicia reproduces the song in her own version. And the girls likes that version. So that's the performance song that they use. <laughs> so when Cosign comes, he finally comes with the song. And after this is okay. So let me let me get back to the performance. So because I just want to tie that in there real quick, y'all. So when I bring it up, y'all know what I'm talking about in the end of the, 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 the video. So Cosign, I mean, the girls go back to the stage and now they're performing. So they do that song, The Skeletons, and Ron DeVos and them say, yeah, you know that song right there. You know, we know you and fucking Shamari is Wheezy and George. We know y'all been married forever and going to die together. So he gets up and say, oh... That song, you know, me and my wife been together for a long time. And that song right there, you know, I know her skeletons and she know my skeletons. Okay. <laughs> so he we, get <laughs> yeah. we get it. Yeah. We get it. Y'all in love. Okay. So after they play that, Pam do her gospel song. And, you know, she go to crying and performing and crying and stuff. <laughs> so then, you know, they just do all their songs. I'm going to just do that. They do all their songs. They do the bird's eye view at the end. And, you know, Lame baby, when I tell y'all... Whoever fucking mixed and mastered Lamisha voice, they did motherfucking wonders. Cause she was on there singing that song, bitch. That bird's eye view. You couldn't tell her she wanted to leave singer 702 back in the day. Like she was singing and she sounded really, really, really good. Like it went from a three to a 10 with her. So I don't know who them Cherish twins, if they produced that, they did the damn thing. I'ma just say that. Cause they made her sound really good. But and so as they sitting there, everybody's noticing that Aubrey pretty much is like looped, like looped out. She's checked out. Like she's just sitting there like, you know, this ain't my music. So everybody noticed the attitude on her. This ain't my music. You know, this not what my fans want, blah, blah, blah. And then Lamie Irish is feeling away because she's saying she's only have two, you know, two damn lines on the song. And she knows she's a backup singer, baby, saying the bike. 
That's what you are. Just back up singer. You back the fucking singers up. So Mila gets up. She's hoarse and she's she's emotional because she's saying, you know, the the girls from Seven O Two they finally get their chance and they deserve everything they're gonna get, which was only a couple bars on them fucking songs. <laughs> but <laughs> she was up there crying and saying it's time for them to get recognized and blah blah blah. And Misha and Misha and Mila speak because you know they had animosity with each other and. Misha was like, you know, despite it all, she glad that Mila showed up to support them because she didn't think she was going to come, but she did. And she supported them. And then... So who was Mila mad at? Not not Irish. Misha. Oh, okay. Yeah. But then maybe she showed up for Irish. Well, she, she pulled Misha. They they talked. Misha and Mila. They they went and talked. So after that, y'all, um, Kima shows up and Kima was like, Pam, you know, the way that you left, pretty much you shouldn't have left like that. And you know, she, I think so Pam, she came back arguing. No, I think Pam is selected with who the fuck she let touch because she let Kima hug her. <laughs> and Pam was like, she didn't say nothing. She didn't say nothing. But Kima was like, why, you know, the way you left, you, you could have talked to us. I was going to be there for you regardless, whatever decision you made. And Pam was like, you know, I just had to do my own thing. You know, I was going down the wrong path and it wasn't working and blah, blah, blah. And they went to crying and making up. And Pam was like, you know, God, she was like, I get, you know, that you want to do your own thing. But you left our group for this. What? And she <laughs> left Kimble, that group a long time ago. Kim was like, like that wasn't for this. Pam she was like, like, yeah, she was like, but you left our group to do this group. And, and she was like, no, that she was, was like, years well, in between. it ain't that I'm doing this. It was like, this is more like an assignment versus the group. God sent me on an assignment. <laughs> and he was like, maybe it was to bring me and you back together because they hadn't spoken almost five years. So she said, maybe it was, I would maybe here for me and you to talk and bring us back together. Like, you know, maybe that's what my, that's why he told me to come here. Cause she kept saying that he told her to come there. But so after that, y'all, um, the performance goes really well. The, the listening party goes really well. Brandy gets up and speak from black and Brandy says, you know, she's happy for Shamara. She's happy that they're doing this and blah, blah, blah. But you know, that, that's pretty much all she said. She liked the music. So boom, now we get into the drama. So Aubrey pretty much is like, you know, Felicia gets into it with Cosign because they go into the studio and they were like, you didn't send a song. We was waiting on a song and we couldn't perform that song. And he was like, yeah, I had the song and, you know, I sent it. She was like, where? Because the song never got here. So the choreographer is saying, hey, I need to plan, you know, the choreography. So can we play the version of the song? They plays Felicia version of Leave Don't Go and he stops it. Apparently in fucking Hollywood, you do not stop somebody's song, baby. <laughs> because... And that shit went left real quick. He stopped and was like, this the wrong version. That bitch looked at him and Felicia was like, wrong fucking version. This is the version we performed. And he was like, well, it ain't my version. And they got into it. He was like, I'm the producer. She's like, I'm the fucking producer because we don't need you because you could go. I That's think what that what she him. said before. Yeah, and she then told him, she you could say go. That. And we don't fucking need you and this and that. And you, yeah, you just don't turn nobody's song off. That was disrespectful is what her point was. Like, you know, you, if you even if you weren't feeling it, you could have let it go. Like, you could have let it ride out and then put, because she was like, if I would have did that to him, he would have been mad too. So, they gets mad about, you know, Cosign and they going back and forth. And he was like, and she throwed off, like... <laughs> Shamari over there bopping and then Keely gets in was like he was like no you could calm down sweetie or he was she was like don't call her sweetie because I guess that's misogynistic or whatever they want to say um gender for specific or whatever the fuck she said she was <laughs> like don't do that you don't call somebody sweetie when you're talking to them because it undermines them or whatever so that's what the producer and, and Keely was going back and forth about Keely stood up for Felicia kudos or whatever but after that, the choreographer says um, she needs the songs, and then they tell Cosign and the choreographer that Aubrey hasn't left. They looking for her shit, and she, Aubrey say, fuck this bitch, I'm out. Aubrey left the show. Like, she packed up her shit, and Keely comes down and say, have anybody seen Aubrey? Oh, that bitch she gone. wasn't on hardly and, any of the songs. No, no, no. She was like, because Aubrey, it wasn't her, that wasn't the type of music that she wanted to put out. No. But they don't say why she leave just yet. But um, so Keely was like, 
Well, Aubrey haven't been in the room in four days. Well, she was like, well, no, nah, that bitch gone because she been moved out the room, but she gone, gone. All her shit <laughs> So why gone. she didn't say no when she moved out the room? <laughs> gone, no. <laughs> Where she thought she was going to stay in the van or something? Aubrey <laughs> left in the middle of the night in her fucking Uber, mm -hmm. and she got the fuck out of there because, you know, it was just too much for her. So she was like, the twins is always gaining up on her. It's too much arguing. No work is getting done. She doesn't do productivity like that. All the arguing, the fussing and fighting, and they're talking to her like that. And Aubrey said in that confession before she left, bitch, Aubrey say, I, Danity Kane so way more motherfucking records than Cherish, bitch. Put some respect on my name. I said, gang, bitch. Like, you better read her before you leave. She read the fuck out them twins before she left. She said, put some respect on my name because Danity Kane so way more than fucking Cherish. And they Where's did. That, how, how, how you really know that? They though? did. Because both of they, Ch Danity Kane, both albums went number Where's one. When was Danity Kane out? In the same time that Cherish was out. Or? No, they they was out the same time. What year was that? Two thousand five, two thousand six. Uh -huh. But they they album That's so way more than Cherish. It did. It really did. So she was like, put some, and she, and y'all could tell she researched that shit before she said it, because she waited to the end to say that shit. Y'all knew she researched that shit before she said it, because she was coming with facts. And she was like, put some fucking respect on my name, baby, and exited the building, got her fucking Uber and left. Oh, so because Nivia was like, I thought I was going to be the bitch that leaves. Like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> She not even interacting Nibis, with them. Nibis, Nibis, you say, I thought she I was going to be the one back. that leave. That made me feel like I need to get my shit and leave because <laughs> this it, it, she's right. It's too much. So the twins were like, oh, she's just over dramatic being, you know, too dramatic. So that bitch coming back. But no, nah, Aubrey gone, y'all. She Aubrey, Aubrey left the show and left America, bitch. The bitch moved to Dubai. She got <laughs> the fuck out of here. Like, that's how mad she was. And I was like, wow, like, that's crazy. So after that, the co cosign in the in Aaliyah, which is the choreographer, they're like, oh shit, what are we gonna do? Because Aubrey's on every song. And they, them twins was like, fuck that shit, we working all night. We finna replace that shit. And they redid all the vocals and took her off um, all the records. So the <laughs> twins was like, we could still do the choreographer and everything, the choreography without her. And we already gonna redub the song. So they went back in the studio and redid all her parts. And um, pretty much... That was the end of episode six. It really wasn't all the, the girls left or whatever. The the people from the party, they left. And that was the end of it. So we're coming to episode seven to see why is Arby going to come back? Is she fully gone, gone? Because I know that bitch signed the contract. So um, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck going to happen in episode seven. But that's just catch you guys up from five and six. So I really hope you guys enjoy. You got any questions? Oh no, I'm good for now. I'm, by the time we do seven, I catch up. I don't know what I'm gonna catch up on, <laughs> but I watch everybody else's. If y'all review this show, I be watching y'all's too. Shout out! Shout out to It's Rocks. I love <laughs> her, y'all. Check out her her page. It's called It's Rocks Channel. Oh yeah, <laughs> check out her channel and check out Ashley Miller too. I love her, you know, when the way she do her videos and things like that. Very entertaining. So make sure y'all check us out. Make sure y'all check out Cadillac Dixon page. Um, oh yeah, I'm going to a challenge tomorrow. I'm going to the hot box. The hot. Are you about to box. explain what that is? Because <laughs> people don't know what the fuck that is. Like, okay, so you know, on my channel, I am the um, tw uh, shit. prison wife. Draw my life I was trying to say wife. all that at one breath. I am the draw my life prison wife, and I'm knocking off that 2020 and putting 2021 on it it's today. I know, right? <laughs> I don't even know why I got that. Why do I even have the date on there? But anyway, I'm the draw my life prison wife. My husband is wrongfully convicted, and that's what I talk about. Just um, the life of being the wife of a prisoner. I tell, tell all that type of stuff. And then I do artwork and stuff. So um, there is a challenge. We are in Florida and Florida is hot. And I know people say you do the, do the crime, you do the time. But the thing is that um, people are there doing their time, but this heat is inhumane. In the prisons, there is no art air conditioner. There is- Ain't it, no it, art it, either. It is art. You said art, but then you correct Oh, they be yourself. doing and art said, up in there. Oh, I know that. <laughs> Should they be MacGyver up in there? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Make it stop. Damn. 
know. But ain't no air conditioner. So we are rallying to get air conditioners into the facilities and I'll be out there. So it is a pod that is actually, it has the bunker just like a prison, like a two man cell. It has the toilet in there and it has the sink and you go in and they close you in. Can you make it for three minutes? And we are challenging the charity that I'm a part of. We're challenging the lawmakers, anybody, just come down. I'm going because I wanna see what my loved one goes through on the daily in this heat. And um, we're just inviting everybody to just come down there. So I'm gonna be doing that tomorrow, I hope. And um, if you wanna check that out, that will be over on my channel. You wanna come do the hot box? Mm -mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't you do nothing wrong here. You be in that hot box for real. <laughs> I say to myself, me going to jail, they might as well go and get my grave ready because I ain't going to no jail cell, y'all. I'm going to let y'all know that now. Oh, they tried to get me. They tried to get me the other day. Ooh. The police. <laughs> Yeah, they mm. they rolled behind us for a while. I say, um, baby, this car is straight legal. My car is legal, baby. You can ride behind me all the way to fucking Wherever New Jersey. Wherever you drive it, and there be them bright, bright lights that just start blinding you. That's what you're talking about. Oh, I don't know. No, they rolled behind us for about 15 minutes mm -hmm. every time <laughs> we made, and we knew they were. Following that make us. you want to just park and get up out the car. <laughs> yeah, that's what we did. We knew they were following us because every turn that we made, they they turned that turn and then we went up in KFC. Now, mind you, we had rolled all around for like 15 minutes and finally just went into KFC. And they tried to get going to KFC like they were getting ready to was, order. What, but what, mind you, the what, way that what we do you took, think they was. Just your casing tag, my car, yo. yeah. Just casing it. Because we they could have went another way to that KLC, the way that you would normally go on the main street. We took the back way. So they we knew they were following us because they seen two African American men. But you know, I can't necessarily say that. But I'm pretty sure that's what it was. But it is what it is. I could care less, honey. I'm very legal, so do what you gotta do, pimp. But <sighs> that we're gonna wrap this up y'all so make, thank y'all for supporting us for so long thank y'all to keep supporting us keep checking out videos keep oh like, i got share, a new tiktok i'm new to tiktok you gotta get your tiktok up oh, you want to give them a tiktok you, name the heck do i even know it oh, oh it's it's the rapper cadillac the rapper that it is k-a-d-l-a-c underscore d-a and then underscore rapper Okay. That's it. So okay. make sure y'all check that TikTok out. <laughs> make sure y'all check that YouTube you channel out. You gotta get out. a TikTok too. I have a TikTok. I just don't know it. Oh, I don't be on it like you that. You don't put nothing on it. Oh, yeah. okay. Look. But um, but I I build it up, y'all. And once I do, y'all gonna be the first to know. I do got some more videos coming out. Um, just about workplace stuff. You know, you guys is is a struggle. But I know people always say I'm an inspiration to them, but they just don't know like you know that 10 foot struggle it took to get to that inspiration for them what i went through for them but if i could be a pillar of success for somebody then i really don't mind but make sure y'all keep following us checking us out because it's gonna be new content coming um i'm gonna try to do some new things too for y'all i got something in the works um, do i don't hot wanna, box challenge i don't i ain't doing that i don't, I don't even like it being hot outside <laughs> Three but, <minutes>. um, <laughs> But if I had some money out of it, then maybe I, I might do it because I'm used to being hot. So I got anemia, so that wouldn't matter to me at all. <laughs> but yeah, I got some big, something what? big coming for y'all. No, so. it sounds like you said something. <laughs> some big stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I got some big stuff coming for y'all. So make sure y'all follow me because the only way you're going to know is if you check their videos out. So make sure y'all check them out. So I'm going to sign off now. Thank y'all for tuning in. Peace. Oops. I do got some big stuff coming. Like a hair piece. They say the news be out there and all <clears throat> types of stuff. They don't, they can't guarantee they'll be there. But sometimes they'll be there. Money. I can't. Do I have on my content? Oh, I do have on my content. It just look. This is the yellow light. It don't look dirty, but oh. the, I could fix the color and in, in the editing though. But I didn't okay. want. You know, I didn't watch none of these. Oh. So I will just chime in. I guess you gotta yeah. move in, son. <clears throat> is already recording? Yeah. Okay. I get my face right. 
Hey y'all, what's up? This your boy Mike. Oh, it's not Mike, sorry. Hey, what up y'all? This your boy Mighty Mac. And this your girl Cadillac. And together we're the Cousins in Crime. And today we're coming at y'all with another video, another review of the Encore. This is episode, we're gonna do five it's and five six, six. child, because we missed it last Ain't week. Ain't no seven yet, is it? Uh uh. No, no. it's just five and six. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing a we, two by two. Girl, Soon it's gonna be three off the middle video. Yeah, we, we, we mm. gotta catch up. I've been working and stuff. But um, but Lizzie's staying with it because you know most people they you get a couple of videos and then they fall off they don't do the whole yeah, season I so. be forgetting um that's cool to watch it I go to sleep and watch that it just come on so late y'all sometimes I got to get up at six o'clock like it comes on Wednesday nights at ten and I got to be up Thursday at six so. I'm knocked out probably like seven, eight o'clock. So I've I got, been moving. I, That's why I got off the same I have <laughs> been DVR moving. So I the whole week just been a buzz. I just got out that last one. Make sure y'all watch that one. The, yes, um, y'all watch six. it. Make sure y'all. I mean, like, not five and share. six. That was three and four. Three and four. Yeah. yeah. But make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, y'all, because I ain't going to beg y'all. And watch no, it all the way through. Please, please, I'm on my knees. So please, we can get subscribe. that watch time. You have to yeah, watch, watch it all the way video. through because y'all child like to come in and watch two or three minutes. And I do it too, so I ain't even going to lie and want to click off. Watch no, the but whole when thing. I watch other YouTubers, because I know how hard it is with YouTube, I go back to their video. But if you ever notice, if you don't finish a video, the yeah. algorithm will keep showing you that video. Until you finish oh, for it, real? yeah, I didn't it'll know keep that. showing it to you. But y'all, I want to get something out real quick. Um, I haven't done the singing video in a while, and this young lady asked me, "Can I do?" And it's an old song too, child. Oh, this is back in two thousand eight. <laughs> no, she is, well, she is an older lady, and her name is Smith. I don't know her first name, but um, she in my Facebook, so I hope she see this, um, or whatever. But she asked me to do my. I guess my story kind of really inspired her. You gotta move in. So. I guess my story kind of really inspired Just her lean, about lean your shoulder what I go thing. through. <laughs> oh, what I've been through and everything like that. And um, so yeah, let's get into it. She asked me to do Monica still standing. I'm gonna do. I oh, already, that was already my told song, her I'm not I'm gonna do the whole thing. Woman. But um, I'm gonna do some of it. So hopefully it comes out right. Hopefully I remember them words, cause no tea, no shade, but they ain't never been my favorite Monica song. <laughs> oh, that was so mine too, but like, I just can't sing. I don't remember the words. I don't remember the words, but I don't know I remember them all. So <laughs> let's get into it. Okay, wait, now I gotta remember the first line, <laughs> y'all. Hold on, let me take you back, cause this is some old shit. Um, just play it real quick. Wait. Oh, no, I got it, okay. Oh. <clears throat> Oh, listen to me now. I'm gonna say it loud so you won't be confused by what we're talking about. I've been through the storm, had dirt on my name. I'm still holding on, champion of the game. Amazing. Okay. Whatever don't kill you, make it stronger. Well, well I, I must, must be, be the, the world's, world's strongest, strongest human. We <laughs> had done a whole lot of growing, everything to say. I'm already knowing, cause I'm, I've been up against the ropes. Everything I'm going through, I've been there before. Seen it all. What she said, though? <laughs> oh, I don't know. But Seen I'm it still all standing. come. Yeah, right. I'm still standing. Cause I do not remember the rest of the world. <laughs> I ain't gonna that, lie. That was, what, 2010. <laughs> that was no 08. Oh, you're I used right. to watch it that when I was in the mother apartments. Yeah. It was 2010 because I had just broke up song. with this. I don't think no, I'm just I, playing, I don't think I liked that show as much. She just wasn't too interesting. But I used no, to watch it. Too hood I, I, like, like, I love her, but she But it wasn't hood. interesting. She didn't she seem little hood, little thing. Oh no. She ghetto as shit. Okay, y'all. So let's go and get into this review. Um that was just a little bit. Uh, still standing she asked me because she said my story kind of really inspired her um when you blind and you get up and go to work and you know she's one of them people that she i guess she's going through some things now and she said because of what i go through and i can still get up and go to work sitting up on this me too hard hard couch now i told my oh. manager that today i was like um i got sciatica i can't be doing it <laughs> 
Okay, good. So that's going to get into this review. But yeah, so catching you guys up. Um, so the Encore pretty much is a show on BET. It's called BET Presents the Encore. Um, those of you who haven't seen it, the show is about female groups from the 90s and the 2000s. Um, they come together, try to make this one super group. So, so far, they yeah. got Nivea. The camera's down. They got Nivea, Keely, Nivea, um, you know, the don't mess with mom and her. And then Pam from, Sef I mean, not Pam, from, damn, what Pam from? She from Total, y'all. Total. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was. And then you got Lamisha Irish from 702. Okay, so that's everybody that's up in that house, and then you got Cosine and Elijah. And the reason I'm I'm re I'm introducing Cosine and Elijah because they're gonna play a part in episode five and six. So Mikey, down. The, the, episode five. To be honest, y'all, this Mikey, happened two weeks on. ago. The, it's not up. I couldn't get it up. Yeah, that ain't working. So it's down. You see where the level is of the chair. So you gotta tilt your head down towards the chair, right there. Okay. You don't have to bend down; just tilt your head down so it look like you're looking in. But yeah, so really not doing shit, and their music is better. They the one that got B D B D E. Is that what they what no, that means? What that is. Big energy. Oh, don't say that so, out loud on. <laughs> oh well, no, but that's well, using it in the phrase like not a nasty phrase, but 